Welcome back to Government Issued, and I'm Troy. In this particular video, I will be installing my TLR non-laser light that I recently picked up from Streamlight on my Glock 48 non-MOS. Uh, it does not have a front rail, but this particular uh, light source uh, does not need that um, rail to install it on because it attaches to the front of the trigger guard. So let's get into that. Obviously, before we begin this video, we want to make sure always that your firearm is pointed in a safe direction um, away from any individuals that could possibly be harmed. You also want to make sure that your firearm does not have a magazine loaded or a magazine inside of the actual firearm. You also want to make sure that there's no uh, round in the chamber. So we're going to do that before we begin this video, uh, just for safety purposes, so on and etc. right? Because this is YouTube. You know how YouTube do. So let's do that, right? No round in the chamber, no magazine in the handgun. So this is just a huge paperweight at this point in time, a very expensive paperweight. Well, especially if you live in the state that I live in, um, <laughs> they just have uh, an issue with the uh, Glock brand um, and they make it very difficult for civilians just to go into uh, FFL stores to purchase them. Um, you can still get Glocks in Massachusetts, but you got to basically be a law enforcement officer or affiliated with some form of law enforcement to buy them brand new, or you can get them transferred to you, uh, basically private sell. But you got to go to a FFL store to have it legally transferred over to the new buyer. So I just want to make that very clear. In case you didn't know that. So, we already uh, understand that the firearm is now just a huge paperweight, right, at this point in time. So we're going to begin um, installing the uh, TLR-6, right? So um, I've never installed one of these on a handgun, so it should pretty much be straightforward, right? Even a caveman can do it right so if a caveman can do it i can do it right <laughs> that's what i like to think i like that commercial you know what now that i think about it <clears throat> before i begin um the instructions read that you got to remove these three mounting screws first so that's initially what i'm going to do uh the tlr6 comes with this very small allen wrench um which is very proprietary uh for this particular product Again, I have a ton of these in various sizes, so it wouldn't be hard for me to find. But again, if you bought the TLR6 or any of their branded light sources, don't lose this because if you don't got one, you're not going to be able to uh, remove those screws. But uh, what was I saying? Um, okay, that's not the right way. Yeah, I I've noticed... Um, When um, installing accessories throughout the years, it's not really the complicated accessories that I've had, uh, the, the large complicated accessories that I've bought that I've had issue with, like uh, internal components to a, uh, a firearm that I had issues installing. It's, it's very the, the, the small, dumb ones like this, like the small, easy ones, the straightforward ones, the ones that you think, yeah, that should be done in uh, three minutes, right? You should be able to get that on in three minutes, and it takes 40 minutes. Um, this is this is not that video. This should be straightforward, but I'm just uh, sharing some of my experiences in the past. Um, what could I say? was a, uh, a difficult install. When I changed the uh, trigger on my AR, that was a difficult install because uh, you had to break down the firearm to get to the, the trigger component. And it was a lot of putting things back together. And me, I'm a, a, a guy that 
I need to uh, place things in order. So when I, uh, when I, what I mean by this is uh, when I take things apart, like I use this lime and mat, I need to put certain components here. I need to put the screws here and the springs need to go there. This need to go there. You know, I'm one of those kind of guys because I don't like to lose things um, and lose screws and bolts and things like that because then once you lose them, you know, the product is kind of useless unless you contact the manufacturer to uh, get them to send you out uh, another one. But uh, it's, it's really the small dumb things that uh, most of the time, for me at least, give me the issues. Okay, so got the three mounting screws out. So this should be able to just pull apart now the light mechanism or module is in here. So I should be able to, well, let me uh, open up the battery compartment to separate this thing. Okay, great. So the light module is in here. Okay. So this is the actual light module for the TLR6. Again, this is the non-laser uh, variant of this uh, particular model. You can remove it. No foul, no harm. Again, just, you know, you don't want to mess up any of the uh, components inside. So that's removed. Great. Now, what do you want to do? All right. So... Okay, yeah. So let's pick up the 48. And let's just kind of line this thing up to see how it's actually gonna fit here. No, here. So it's pretty much gonna preface alongside. <clears throat> actually, I can uh, <clears throat> remove that module for a second. And it just, I'm not going to say it snaps in because there, I haven't felt any uh, snapping sensation. But again, it's made specifically for this particular uh, handgun. So it just fits in, right? And, you know, that's a side view of it. I haven't screwed anything in yet to tighten it. And again, the instructions said, do not screw in, uh, you know, the mounting screws into the hardware too tight. Um, I have an issue doing that with a lot of things. I over tighten things. And uh, that's how you strip most of the time the screws or the bolts, whatever. And um, so we're not going to do that here. So that's how that looks on the side. Again, I'm taking this very slow because there's people who have never installed light sources on a handgun and um, this is my first time installing one on mine now my service weapon um, either I had someone do it or kind of came like that so we'll just uh, yeah we just put this one here and that fits right on top And uh, we're going to take the other compartment. Okay. And that fits together back like that. Again, don't expect to uh, hear a, uh, a clicking or a snapping sound or noise. No, you just got to push down on it and it's, it's there. As you can see now it's in place um, I can start installing those uh, screws back in now so let's start doing that right um, I bought a duty holster recently from uh, TLR 
and uh, specifically, I'm going to be doing a review on that as well. No, excuse me, not TLR. Jesus Christ. I forget the name of the company. Now, give me one second, guys. I'm going to be exact. Is this the, uh, this is my 19. Yeah, TR. So I bought a, yeah. This is it, yep. So, I bought a duty holster, a new duty holster, retention three, for, uh, you know, this particular um, Glock 48. Now again, this is a single stack, 10 rounder. Um, I carry for work my 19. Uh, Glock 19, that is, to be exact. And um, I have a similar duty holster, retention three, or no, that one's retention four. This is retention three. And it's not made by TR holsters. I forget the brand for my 19 holster, but this one is made by TR holsters. And what's cool about this particular holster is that um, it'll allow me to actually use the TLR6 light here to be hosted directly into this holster. So that that was one of the, the coolest things um, about that particular holster. And uh, I believe it cost me what? Uh, 172 or something like that. $172 for this holster. So it's a Kydex holster. Obviously, it's all black. And um, they said that it's going to fit this Streamlight TLR6 light source. So we're going to see once um, I put the screws in to this, uh, to this bad boy. We're gonna see live on video um, if it actually uh, fits the source, or I will be shipping it back because um, that was forced advertisement. You know, shouldn't advertise something that uh, isn't what it's said to do. So I'm not gonna tighten these extremely tight. That's not what. Uh, Streamlight said to do, so we're not going to put that extremely tight. And I'll let you guys know once I'm done doing this. Does it feel flimsy? Does it feel like it's going to fall off the uh, the handgun? You know, I'll let you know in a second. So again, we're not going to put this uh, too damn tight. We're just going to put it just, you know. So now, there you go. This is the TR6 on the Glock 48. Streamline, excuse me. Streamlight. And uh how does it feel? It feel like it's on there pretty tight. Not gonna fall off, it feels. Rack that slide. slide without any issue pull the trigger honestly it doesn't feel um, any different than it felt prior to installing it on the actual handgun obviously I don't even I don't notice any difference in the weight of the actual handgun it still feels um, as if nothing changed in, this, in regard to the weight. In regard to the weight to this particular firearm, um, this this light source 
has not uh, added that I felt any uh, any extra weight to it. So then again, again, you guys know me, I got big hands. Let's put these uh, these batteries in and we're gonna fire this thing up for the first time. So uh, let's go see what we're working with. Oops, I always put these in long like a dummy for some reason. Oh, okay. Again, you can activate this if you're ambidextrous, if you're left-handed, right-handed. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to shine this into the camera, but let me turn this light off. And give you guys an idea, if I could, if my, uh, I don't know why my computer booted down, but uh, give me one second, give you guys an idea of what, uh, what this looks like with the, uh, the lights out. And what you can actually expect. Again, this is not gonna be practical use uh, in the field, right? But it's a hundred lumens, right? is better than having no lumens. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's far better than having um, no light readily available for you to be able to use, um, right? And again, it's, uh, I think it's well worth the price. I'm, of course, I'm gonna leave the link in the uh, the description, actually, let me uh, get squared away on that because you know, it cost me seventy one bucks for this actual uh, flashlight for my pistol, and it took me less than five minutes to install. Um, very simple. Again, if you have an MOS rail, they give you the option to get a different variant of it. If you have the Glock 48 MOS and it has that front rail on it, you can still get one of these. But if you don't have that particular model Glock 48 and it doesn't have the rail, you can get this one that I have and again, it fits perfect. It, it doesn't seem like it's out of place. It doesn't um, interfere with the trigger or the trigger pull. It doesn't add any uh, weight uh, to the actual firearm. I like that. Now let's see uh, if this thing fits in the uh, holster that I recently picked up for it, this uh, duty holster. All right. Oh yeah. Fits right in. Fits right in without any kind of issue. Again, this holster was made specifically for this handgun and the TLR flashlight. So, of course, it, 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 it's a snug fit. And you got that retention there still. You got that retention. There you go. Um, I like it. Concern of mine is uh, with the, you know, in and out use of the holster. You know, you're pulling it in, you're taking it out, putting it in, you're taking it out. Um, will it have any wear and tear? You know, um, you know, what's the, uh, the bulb? 
light uh, lifeline or life expectancy for it. I don't know about that. I have to do some more research on that, how long the bulb is going to last. Is the bulb replaceable? I'll reach out to TLR uh, or reach out, excuse me, reach out to Streamline when that issue happens. If I need a bulb replaced, um, I don't know if they'll send one out to you um, or if you have to buy a new bulb. I can imagine it couldn't be that difficult to replace, but uh, again, overall for me, for what I'll be using it for, um, you know, again, this is a, a, a great light source if you didn't have one, um, and this is on the Glock 48, very easy install, hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope I was able to assist or to help folks out that uh, were looking to find a light source for their single stack slim line glock 48 i'm troy this is government issued hope you guys subscribe to the channel click that bell button so you'll be notified whenever one of my new videos go up you get to see it first and i'll see you guys in the next one peace